All right, so what we are gonna do today is we are gonna do a test against the gray four amp hour battery and the black four amp hour battery. Now the model number for the black battery is P197 and the model number for the gray battery is P108. They both have the same specs, but they both have different types of cells in them. But the black battery is a lithium and the gray battery is a lithium plus. The black battery only has two time Alrighty, so I forgot my hat, which I got it now. So yes, the black battery can only runs tw uh, two times longer than the original NICAD batteries, and the gray uh, runs four times longer. So now we're gonna see if there's a time difference between the black and the gray. Got a six by six right behind me, and I got a four by four right here. So we're gonna do some tests with uh, the hammer drill, the impact, driver and the reciprocating saw and all of the all of these are are going to be brushless both batteries are full we're going to do two we are going to do two holes each we're going to use a one inch we're going to use a one inch spade bit first and then what we're going to do is we're going to do two holes for each thing for both batteries and we're gonna the best time for each task is the winner of that task ready go <laughs> all right time we'll do one more all right so ready go So that is the gray test. We're just gonna switch over to the black battery. Black battery. All right, so ready, go. That's one, one more. Ready. Go. All right, so no matter what, each hole stopped once. So at least that's con uh, consistent. So we're gonna go to one and one eighth spade bit. Uh, we got a gray battery. We're gonna do two holes. Alright, so ready? Go. Alright, we're gonna do one more. Alright, so ready? Go. All right, so let's we'll switch over to the black battery. Do two holes. Ready, go. Oop. All right, so one more hole. Ready, go. Alright, I feel that the black battery is doing the job better. That's just that's just how I feel about that. We are just gonna do the three quarter inch the three quarter inch drill bit. We're gonna use the gray battery first. 
All right, we're gonna do two hulls. All right, so ready. I think we're good right there. Ready, go. <laughs> two. Ow. We'll do two holes. Alright, we'll do one more. Up. Oh. Alright, next. Black battery. Two holes in a row. Alright, so ready. Go. <laughs> came undone. Right, so for this we are going to use the, the brushless P238. This has three speeds and a variable trigger. So we're going to see what this, uh, uh, see what the difference is between black and gray with this. Alright, so first we are going to use the gray. Battery still full. We're going to do two 10 inch Timberlock screws first for each battery and take them out. Then we are going to do one four and a half inch lag screw. So let's do two Timberlocks first. Ready? Go. Time. Do one more. Ready? Go. Uh, we're gonna take them out. We're gonna take them out both at once. I'm gonna try my best to take them out as soon as possible. All right, so ready, go. Done. All right, so let's do the black battery next. Ready. Go. Time. All right, so ready. Up. Oh. Ready. Go. Time. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. All right, so we're taking them out both at once. Do it as fast as I can to get to the next one. Ready, go. Time. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. Grab the Ryobi pliers. There we go. I hated that. This one specific one gets stuck. I just should throw this away. For the next test, I'm going to use my Tech Life Impact Rated Sockets. Got my Milwaukee half inch to a quarter inch hex adapter. My Ryobi one kept on snapping. So we're going to see how long this lasts. And once this fails, I'm going to uh, get the Makita one and see how long that lasts. Alrighty, so we are going to see and I, I love this one. You just pop it in like that. Gray battery first. And uh we're doing all these tasks on one charge, and we're gonna see which one has more life in it after we're done. Alright, we have two four and a half inch flags right here. Do the same uh, the same line, try to at least. Speed three, we are good to go. All right, so ready, go. Time. Time, time, time. All right, now we are going to take that out. Ready, go.
All right, black battery time. All right, so we are good to go. All right, so ready, go. Time. Very good, very good. I am seriously curious, I cannot wait to see these re results. All right, so we're gonna take it out. There we go. Ready, go. Time. Not too shabby, not too shabby at all. We're gonna cut through a six by six. And what we have here is the Ryobi brushless reciprocating saw. Now this one does have an orbital feature, but we are just gonna do the forward and back stroke. Model number for this is P517 at zero to 3200 strokes per minute. And I do not know what the stroke, the stroke length for this is just yet. So we are gonna use a great battery first. We're gonna time this and see on how fast this could actually do this at. Ready, hopefully this stays on there. Ready, go. That did not cut straight at all, by the way. That this, this is on a little curve down. I think uh, for this size, this blade is too, maybe not uh, thick enough. And it's just wobbling. All right, we're gonna cut one more. Black battery, it is full. All right, so, ready, go. So the results are there. I hope you guys got a little bit of uh, insight on how uh, these two batteries go against each other. And I did use the brushless tools for these, including the recip saw. Now, unfortunately, when it comes to this, this smoked a little bit, and that's because I did the hedges outside. I dug uh, all the roots out. I hear something inside. I'm not sure what it is. There might be dirt buildup, but in a future video, we are going to take this apart and see if I have some crud inside, uh, like dirt that got brought into this to see if it's clogging, clogging anything up or resisting something. So I, I think, I feel like I have dirt in there. So we're going to uh, take this apart in a future video and find out why this smoked a little bit. So that's pretty much it. So this is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you guys next time.